Hello, welcome back. Hope you're all well. Right, I hope you can hear me okay because there's a bit of a storm going on outside. But um, I was going to do a Westwood startup video this morning, but the um, battery's a bit flatter than what I thought, so uh, there's no, no chance of that happening. So I thought what I'd do is show you around the machine quite quickly. Um, show show you the bits we did to make it so it's off road uh, into mud mower. Um, the only a few bits we we did um, sort of a few years back, and um, then I'm going to show you my plans for it or tell you my plans for it um, in the future. Because originally it was brought, well, I sort of did a job and whatever, and it paid for. I did a deal for for the machine, and um, I got it for Louis. Uh, but he was, I can't be old, he wasn't very old at the time but now he's like, um, he's 14 now so he's more interested in burning doors and playing bloody games and stuff and being down here getting covered in crap fair enough I suppose um, yeah so I might as well build it to how I want it and you know, I'm not stopping him using it obviously but um, yeah, I'm going to build it around myself and what I want, and then obviously I've still got the Murray going on as well. That's a mud mud, that's a mud, mud project. So um, yeah, let's have a quick look around it. I've done my video too too long. Be nice to have a short one to upload instead. <laughs> right, let's see in a second. Right, so this is the Westwood. I haven't got a lot of room in here at the moment. I've got to, oh, I'm just going to move back for it. Um, you might have seen it in the background. Or you, may have watched the old videos of it, who knows but uh, yes, yeah, T1300 um, it's got 12 and a half horsepower Bridget, lift the bonnet up yeah it's got 12 and a half horsepower bridge engine on it Suffering a little bit of an oil leak around that bottom seal on the dipstick, that's where the oil is coming from. This shaft so ain't hot a bit, yes. I'm not show you later. <laughs> well it actually is part of it, it's not from that bit. Um, we've got to rewire it and dump the bits. So what we've done is obviously we took the mower gear off of it. Um, like a fool, I took the drive system out for the PTO because this has a belt driven uh, pull at the back to drive like the sweeper and it had lifting gear on the back as well. What I took off, what I sort of regret doing now because I could have done something with it, I, I think. Um, but you know, it's done. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. So, stripped it down took most of the stuff of what we didn't need or needed at the time <laughs> uh, these are um, 15 inch tyres on it I believe that's the same size as the standard ones on the front of these the Murray's were 13 so I think these were 15 so they're not a lot of them apart from the obviously the tread you can see it's a deep old tread on these tyres and then the back tyres originally were 18 inch um, tyres on 8 inch rim, it's the same rim, 18 inch, uh, uh, 8 inch rim but um, they've got a 21 inch tyre on them now we've got a tractor pat pattern on them um, yeah they seem okay but really haven't really given them enough abuse yet to to, to tell you they're the best but they're, they're good, they're good for what they were, for what they cost um, I think the two sets for this and the Murray was the best part of 300 quid for eight tyres. Um, well, I don't suppose it's bad when you work it out. I know it sounds a lot in one go. But um, yeah, so the other difference is um, the, the clutch on these, when we do the clutch and the brake, um, we've disconnected the brake from that. And what it, where it normally sits now, we've got, I don't know if we can see it, is we've got a T lever, made the gear lever into a T, and normally we have like a, a push bike brake handle basically, 
on here what works as a handbrake so that's where the brake is um, but if you know about when I took this for a test ride um, I, um, I jammed my leg around the cable and uh, I got dragged down the uh, down the track for about 80, 75 80 feet and I ended up managing to put, stop it by putting it in a tree because we had some trouble that day and I disconnected the the stop on it because we were having trouble with it shortening out and um, stopping the engine um, so then after that we fitted these what, this one, I don't know if we can see it I can't really see the screen but we made our own safety switches up so when you fall off now um, you fall off it pulls this out and it stops the engine I'll show you on a video of making it I might already have one on here but I'll do it again so people can see them they're really cheap and well, it don't cost you nothing because they're, they're switches off the machine um, we've got, obviously we've got a push button start now what we're going to redo all the wiring but that's what we've done so far to it and that's how we've been using it but it's been sitting here for good I think a good couple of years a good couple of years we haven't been out maybe longer than that maybe three years I'm not 100% sure but um, yeah I'll, I'll tell you now I'll tell you next what I'm going to do Right, once we've got it fired up and running again, um, I'm going to take the engine off so I'm going to give it a little clean it up. Um, but the first major job, or big job I suppose, is that clutch pedal. It's on the wrong side. It's, as far as I'm concerned, it should be on that side. So, that's what that, this shaft was laying out. I was just trying to figure out where it's going to go. But... Um, I'm going to put a shaft across the engine bay and um, yeah, put the clutch lever over there. Still have a drive for this bit here. We bodged that up. Uh, I think Jordan done it. Welded that in there just to get us out, out of trouble so we can get out for a day in the mud. Might be a bit pointless because it's bone dry, but <laughs> um, yeah, so got to put a shaft across there. Um, obviously, as you know, these Westwood seats, uh, like the Canic seats and all that, they're, they're absolutely terrible for falling apart. So um, that needs to go. And then I want to get the same sort of seat on this is what I was going to have, or what I'm going to have on the uh, Murray, which is the attractor, fully adjustable seat so adjust to the weight, and it's got suspension on it, you know, like a normal tractor. Uh, that's the plan there um, it's got to have a box on the back um, yeah box on the back or rack on the back and a winch and so on the front we're going to have a nudge bar built up I'm going to build a nudge bar and try to get a winch on the front of it as well so two winches on it um, yeah that's the idea um, probably end up keeping the battery where it is on this one, but maybe putting an electric battery for a split charger on the rack so we've got plenty of power for winching. Um, I've got to re weld this bonnet up because it's it's split. It's something Jordan put a couple of tacks on, like I say, when we was messing around with the welder. Like I say, could, probably about three, three years ago. It's outside for. Oh, I'm trying to think it must have stood outside for two years or more so um, yeah I'm not sure when we last used it or it last run I'm going to put a couple of spotlights on the bonnet here rather than trying to reuse the lights what was on it Louis took the light covers off and uh, I think one was broke so rather than that I'll just bang up the spots I've got, I've got a couple in the my toolbox over there LEDs right, so rewire it all up um, we are going to have road going lights on it as well these are road legal tyres as well so you get the hint where I'm going with that that'll be registered and everything else um, yeah that's the idea but, um, yeah, it's not a bad machine, it's a, it's a nice big machine, quite a heavy machine. But, um, 
yeah it's not bad at all it just needs a bit of love and care where it's it's um sat in here because he had one one owner from new and he basically used it as just a little tow track to do a tunnel trade around and uh they used an s an s fur you know to um cut the grass with this was like i say this just used to tow the, you know you sort of moved all the stuff with the back that will have a rack on it it's a job of so i know it's a crap video because um, it wasn't what I was planning on doing, so I thought I'd quickly show you. So as we go through, it'll get you, it'll get you more. I'll try to get you more interested as we do something actually on it. So I'm really glad that um, you can see a load of the batteries on there, and then and get the top light up. But um, that's because I was winding the engine over on something else the other day. It's a bit of a shame, but there you go. You right, hopefully you can still hear me. We're in the middle of the storm. It seems to just die down a little bit. But um yeah, I know these videos are very boring. Um mainly especially for people in the UK because there's not a lot of mud mowing stuff over here. And um but like I said, I've just showed you the basics of what my plans are. Obviously I've got to look diff. Um, the reason I didn't look the diff on this is because when Louis was obviously a lot smaller when he, he was on this and if you have the look diff and you're on the mud or in the dirt or whatever and you steer with these grippy tyres it just wants to push and plough it doesn't want to steer um, so I thought it's easier to have that so it steers, have the open diff and it'll steer and if you get stuck there's always, you know, he's never going to be out on his own so there's always plenty of people around to give them a shove, get them out unstuck. So that's why I left it open. But now I'm, I'm sort of taking over the machine and such. And he's a lot bigger now anyway. He's, he's nearly as tall as me. Um, yeah, now he's, he's bigger. We can look at diff and he can handle it. And if he, if he wants to go on it, that is obviously, I'll sort of build it for myself. I think it's the way to go. Um, yeah, so nudge bars each end. The nudge bar is not there for show, it's to put an angle on it, so it sort of acts like a, uh, like a snow plough I guess, it, where, you know, it just forces everything underneath it so you can, you know, if, if your nudge bar gets over it, you'll get over it, it's how you do it sort of thing. Um, yeah, I know it's quite boring, uh, like I say for putting new codes, don't really understand them, but um, to see one being used properly, um, then you might go, oh that's interesting. Yeah. As I was saying, there's not a lot of mud mower stuff in the UK, so if you haven't seen it, it's basically the same as um, off-roading with um, Land Rovers or whatever, whatever you're used to, quads. Um, in fact, these seem to outperform a lot of quads, believe it or not, especially two-wheel drive quads, obviously four-wheel drive is going to have an advantage. Um, in, the, in the deeper stuff, in the mud, I don't know why that is, I don't know if it's the weight or or the less power, you know, because these aren't power machines. Um, they are going to be, I mean, obviously I don't think what I do is gear it up different. But um, yeah, if you're watching proper off-roading mowers, um, you may be surpri pleasantly surprised, and obviously it's a cheap it's a cheap hobby. Uh, this particular one, the Westwood, I'm going to, my plans are to get it road registered, so it'll be road worthy. So I'll pop down the shop in it, or <laughs> on it, or whatever. But um, that's the idea, so it will be classed as a, a tractor. Um, I won't go into that now, all about the laws and regulations over here, because that will really bore you. But I know, so maybe I'll do a video, if people are interested, I'll do a video on it. Um, about tax insurance. And all the exciting things in life, you know. Um, obviously there's a few things I need to do for it, to have it road legal, like a flashing light. Because um, we class it as a tractor, um, what we can class it as a mower still. It's a little bit dodgy. I don't really want to get nicked for some, you know. Because obviously, it's when you get pulled, it's the, they're the people you've got to try to, to explain. Yeah, it's it's registered and all this sort of crap, and I, I want to do it the easy way. So um, I've got to put lights on it, what road legal, whatever you know. <laughs> um, tires are anyway. Um, that's why I've got these particular tyres. 
and all that but we'll do that if you're interested in that let me know in the comments and i'll do a video explaining all this sort of stuff um obviously if you've got right on mowers we may be able to sort of edge the conversation to that one as well um and i'll keep trying to get keith to do his mowers as road legal um just be careful when you're cutting grass on each road you can't get it can you know you get a real funny copper normally a young one the, 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 you know what I'm trying to say here but uh, yeah I don't want to ramble on because it gets long and boring but I hope you sort of enjoyed the look of it I know like I said it's a boring video I don't expect no thumbs up thumbs down whatever you know do what you like um, yeah but you, you need to know so then that way I can just move on the next time we come to that machine and you know what's happening right um, yeah so that's the end of it so like, if you do like it I subscribe all that sort of stuff but just remember, it's okay not to be okay. See you soon.